Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and in this video, I will be bringing you the results of the Let's Play subreddit's Unsucky Sunday competition for this week. Before we get started though, there's a few things that I want to say. I've been on YouTube for about two months now, and right before I recorded this video, I hit 100 subscribers. So if you're one of those 100 subscribers and you're watching this, thank you. Your support means a lot to me. Now, if you don't know what Unsucky Sunday is, it's basically a competition where everyone submits what they believe to be their best video, and then the host, me in this case, chooses the top five best videos. Last week, I took third place with episode seven in my Pokemon Leaf Green Team Slot Elimination Challenge series. But this video isn't about me. It's about five YouTube content creators. Five creators who wanted to be the very best, like no one ever was. To create videos was their real test. To... Hmm, now that I think about it, this reference isn't really working out. On to the countdown! Number 5. Hello everybody and welcome to The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Just came out. Super excited to play it. Never played the first one on my channel because I was afraid it was a little bit too dark. But this is my disclaimer, the game is dark. Coming in at number 5, we have The Binding of Isaac Rebirth Episode 1 Beginning by Retromation. This video has great audio and video quality and excellent commentary. I really liked the fact that he introduced the video and then put in a disclaimer at the very beginning saying that this game is fairly dark compared to most of the stuff on his channel. That is a very professional thing to do. Throughout his commentary, he explained aspects of the game, and he mixed in some humor as well, which was definitely appreciated. I really enjoyed this video, even though I'm not really a big fan of the game itself. Monstro's Tooth, ooh, yeah. My favorite. Number four. My hands are shaking right now. Putting my card into my 3DS. Hello all you crazy people out there, this is Dragonite Spam and welcome to Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. I have been waiting for this game to come out for a good half a year now, I'm sitting in my car. Coming in at number four, we have Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Part 1, Trumpets of Hoenn, submitted by Dragonite Spam. I thought that the overlay in this video was very nice and professional and it was very well edited. I also greatly enjoyed the commentary. I, I felt like I was there in the car with him for that introduction that he did as he played the game for the first time in the parking lot of the gaming store immediately after release. I could really tell how excited he was for this game and just how much he loves Pokemon. The only thing keeping this video from a higher spot on this list is that the audio quality could have been slightly improved, but overall it was an excellent video and I really enjoyed watching it. Like, this is kind of bad. I don't want to, uh, I, I like, don't want to stop ever playing here, but I know I'm going to have to because it's, I, I saw a car drive by and it's midnight and they're seeing me sitting here talking to a DS. Number three. Hello, and welcome to the Smite GG series. In this god guide, we'll be covering Yanus, Roman god of portals and transitions. Coming in at number three, we have part of the Smite god guide, Janus, Roman god of portals and transitions. This was submitted by Meraki. It's an awesome, short and sweet video. It provides an overview of Janus in Smite. It had great audio quality and great use of music throughout the video to kind of change the mood from one part to the other. I really appreciated that. It was a very informative video. I learned a lot, even though I've never really dealt with Smite at all, never really played it myself, and never really had an interest of it. I, I still enjoyed this video a lot. It had a good use of overlaid information to kind of supplement the commentary, but I do wish that overlay had been just a little bit smaller or opaque as it covered almost half of the gameplay footage at certain times. Still, this was an excellent video and a solid entry at the number three spot. Yanus' ultimate ability is through space and time. It creates portals in a straight line that stay open for 10 seconds, allowing your team to pass through. It is also capable of doing huge damage, as long as you can aim it. This results in some... snipes. Number 
two. Oh, hello, beautifuls. I'm Logie Bear, and welcome to another Five Nights at Freddy's. Coming in at number two, we have Revenge of the Bunny, Five Nights at Freddy's, Part 4, by Logie Bear. And I have to admit, I almost put this video in the number one slot. I was very, very close. He has only been producing videos for a little over a week, and he's had excellent growth on his channel. Now, part of this is because he's promoting himself properly and engaging with his audience, but it certainly doesn't hurt that he has excellent content just like this video, which is straight up fun to watch. He has great audio and video quality. The use of the face cam in this video actually added to the experience. I think when you're using a face cam, you need to look at the game that you're playing and not use a face cam just for the sake of doing it. In this video, it helped that the face cam was there. It added to the overall experience. And on top of that, I loved the fact that the footage from the face cam was also very dark and dim, just like the game he was playing, which added to that overall kind of creepy feeling that you're supposed to get from this game. His commentary was excellent. It was both funny and engaging, and it was just generally great entertainment. He has a lot of talent for someone so new to Let's Plays, so I'll be definitely looking forward to more content from him in the future. And we've already doubled the amount of. Oh, my god. No, 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 Oh my god. Number one. I've been looking forward to talking about Half Life 2 by Valve Software ever since I learned a couple of months ago that this year marks the 10th anniversary of its release. Playing as MIT graduate and experimental physicist Dr. Gordon Freeman, you find yourself assisting and sometimes leading a rebellion against the Combine, an extra dimensional force that has taken over most of the Earth. And in the number one slot, we have Great Levels in Gaming, Episode 13, Half-Life 2, by Max Barnyard. This was an outstanding video in every way. The video was great, the quality was great, it was extremely informative, he gave a critique and information about the level's designs and developers' decisions throughout the game, the editing was just extremely well done. I really don't have anything bad to say about this video at all. He did everything right, and that is why this video earns the number one slot. Also, I would like to point out that this is the second Half-Life game, the uh, second Half-Life game, and it is in the number one slot. Two plus one equals three, which means Half-Life 3 confirmed. If the tutorial at Black Mesa East was intended to teach you how to use the gravity gun to navigate the environment, Ravenholm is purpose-built to give you as much practice as possible with its use as a weapon. It's also one of my favorite examples of great signposting, using environmental cues to lead you in a certain direction. And that will wrap up this week's Unsucky Sunday. Congratulations to all the winners, and I can't wait to see what's next from all of you. Until then, I'm Wells Knight and I will definitely see you next time.